This little video is designed to give you an introduction to breadboards. If you've never used one before or seen one before, you might be wondering why electronics uh, enthusiasts are always going on about them. Well, um, they're very, very useful ways of uh, producing circuits, electronic circuits, without using solder. Uh, here's one um, out of the packet. And they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. There's one like this, for example, which has got some big terminals on, which are useful. Um, so how do they work? Well, inside the breadboard, there are electronic, uh, sorry, electrical strips which connect together lines of uh, holes. So, for example, if I was to plug it into um, a uh, breadboard, uh, an LED like that, then all of these holes here, if I plugged anything into them, they would be electrically connected to this leg. And likewise, any of these holes here, if I push something into that, like a little uh, wire connector, for example, like that, then it would be connected to this leg of the LED. Now, um, that's true for all of the main bank of holes. However, if you look around the edge, you'll see there's a black and red line here and a black and red line here. And that's because we use these ones for power. And it's quite handy to have power at various parts of the board. And so these rails are provided for that. Now you'll notice that the black line is continuous. And that's because all of this row of holes are joined together. And the manufacturers expect that you'll use that as the ground line or zero volts. Uh, and the red line represents holes that are joined together. Um, but you'll notice there's a, 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 a gap here because this lot of holes is not connected to that lot. And the reason for that is that you may want to have different voltages um, floating around in the circuit. And uh, this is a handy way um, to allow you to create breaks. Now, in fact, what I do, I tend to use just one voltage, um, so something like 4.8 volts perhaps, and so what I do is I join all of them together uh, with little um, uh, little uh, connectors like this. Now you may be saying to yourself, aha, what are those connectors he's using? Well, these little connectors are available from any electronic shop. Um, uh, in the UK here, uh, there's a company called Maplin which sells boxes of these. And they're very handy because they they come in different lengths and of course you can join different parts of the board together uh, very very easily so for example we can do that you know we could just put our component in and um, uh, we can join various things together incidentally one thing I didn't mention is that this row of holes on this side of the main bank are not connected to this side and that's because we use this handy gap in the middle to insert chips into okay like that so on the whole, breadboards are very, very easy and very quick ways of uh, prototyping and making circuits without the need to use solder. I hope that was helpful.